Does this look familiar? Because it should. Perhaps you'd like me to tell you what's on it. What's it going to cost me? Time's running out. Oh, I'll give it to you for free. That phone contains information about a Russian arms dealer named Amir Kafarov. He was on pretty good terms with your old buddy, Al Bashir. Did you know Beating that- a dead horse. I'm sorry, I didn't realize I was done speaking. Did you know that Kafarov and Al Bashir were working together? All I know is we were redeployed based on the info we got from this phone. And where was that? Northern Iran. Kafarov was believed to be there with the missing nukes. Believed to be? No one but you heard Al Bashir's confession. No one knows where he got this phone. Listen to me. We have to stop Solomon. You took the phone call, you know he's here. That's all well and good, Sergeant, but we still need you to fill in the blanks. This next part is where you have a big credibility problem. Fine. Kafarov had a villa in the Gilad Valley. We were headed there, but it got complicated. Okay, Kafarov's compound's on the other side of this valley, just past the Gilad Bridge. So who is this guy exactly? The guy from Al Bashir's phone, an arms dealer. That's all they know? That's all we know. He could be connected to those nukes. All misfit call signs advanced to 1-6, westing on route red. Break. They make contact with a squad-sized force. Over. Roger that. Can you confirm the size? 1-3, I have no further information now. Hey, Makovich, wake up! It's enough sleep, Dream Warrior. Uh, 34 minutes. I was asleep for 34 minutes. Drinking a vanilla milkshake. Does that mean something? Oh, shit! Ambush left! They're in the trees! Vehicle down, taking fire from the left! Enemy behind the rock! Left!
God damn it! We're Russian Paris. Real Russians, what does that mean? Maybe they're working for Kafarov. Look, either way, Steve, I'm concerned that we are slightly overmatched here. We got a job to do. Those nukes? It's misfit. Let's go talk about it. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Russian transport! Holy fucking shit! Oh, we can't go through them. No way, no how. Enemy units down there setting up. Airdrop rules out a straight route. So what the hell's going on here? They're here for the same reason we are, Sergeant. We at war with Russia now, is that what's happening? Are you fired upon? Yes. Doctrine says you can return fire if fired upon. That's not war. Not technically. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I'm saying we need to get there first. You think the Russians are here just because? They're covering their asses. We know they're working with the PLR. Now let's move it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna finish one war by starting another. That is our fucking standing. Montez, you heard the orders. Let's go! Can't go through them. No way, no how. Fall in and prepare to move. Targets, coax, troops. Taking fire! Spread out! Spread the fuck out! We have to get to the other side of the valley ASAP. 
We have solid intel on Russian infantry moving in a northerly direction. They're tipping their hand to Kavrov's location. He's who we want. He's who we came for. We're bounding across to the next checkpoint. Understood? Counterattack! Contact! Tree line to our front! Troops in the open! 200! Rapid rate! Enemy behind cover! Front! Column movement, eyes open. Roger. On me. Let's go. Mark the gun! Move right! Move right! Spread out on the right flank! Covering fire! Light him up! Engaging! Shit!
Sergeant Campbell, Sedra. Sir, we are not equipped to take on a Russian brigade. Maybe we ought to rethink this. This is maneuver warfare, Sergeant. If you don't like it, you can go join the fucking Air Force. General, you have never let me down before. Now I fully expect you to accomplish this task. Absolutely, sir. No, Steve, look, I'm sorry, but that is completely unreasonable. I have serious reservations about this task. Sergeant Campo, Blackburn, push on as required. That's fast air! Did he see us? Oh, he's doubling back. Holy fucking shit! Oh my God!
fucking dick, Steve. <laughs> All right, I know what you think. Maybe if I'd have done something different, they'd both still be. This is a war. And things happen in a war. Now, we still have a job to do. We have to get to Kafarov, and we have to get to him first, whether the Luke's are there or not. There's no way. It's just us. It's you. It's on you, Marines. Are you coming with me? 